Eleven hours after a massive volcanic explosion rocked the Pacific Island nation of Tonga, sound waves from the blast rolled over the state of Georgia. But nobody heard them because the sound was at a frequency below the range of human ears. At GTRI's Severe Storms Research Center, however, the sound was captured by instruments built to detect and analyze infrasound, a type of low-frequency sound wave. Infrasound can travel hundreds or thousands of miles without dissipating. The first signals from Tonga were detected as they passed from west to east across the United States on Sunday morning, January 16th. Another set of waves that traveled around the globe from east to west was drowned out in Atlanta by heavy storms. At the research center, infrasound signals are captured by an array of sensors placed under tent-like structures or connected to long hoses to protect them from wind noise. Data from the sensors is computer analyzed to determine the frequency of the signals as well as the direction from which they originated. The Severe Storms Research Center monitors infrasound as part of a project designed to provide earlier warning to Georgia citizens about severe storms such as tornadoes, which also produce low frequency sound. Researchers studying the signals hope they'll be able to provide information about the size of tornadoes and whether the storms are on the ground or still in the clouds. The research is supported by the state of Georgia. In Atlanta, I'm John Toon with the Georgia Tech Research Institute.